trying to come to a closing. So if you have an idea you're afraid you'll forget over the weekend, write it down. If you're in the middle of a sentence, try to finish it. About 30 seconds. pencils down. It's okay that we're not finished. We'll come back to this. Thank you. A couple more people we're waiting on. Monica, I know you're not finished, but if you could go ahead and put your pencils down now. Thank you. All right, so real quick, um, let's look back at our expectations. Um, is there any of these that we did really stellar or really awesome on today? Right. Claw, what do you think? Um, on being like a duo. Absolutely, I would agree with that. Yeah, nobody was like, Miss Misky, Miss Misky, Miss Washington, Miss Washington. Good. Everybody had that, was like, to write nobody like talking or something. The activities we just write. Yeah, everybody was on task. They were writing um, with the activity. Um, so great job following those expectations today. All right, so we said at the beginning of class um, that we can write an informative text to convey ideas. How do we accomplish that today? The writing situation? Okay. So we gave ideas and examples in our informational writing. Okay. Omnia? And also we also we like an article to show is Anna is listening to this and it's also doing all right, so the informative text that we were writing was an article. All right, so I know that um, we were working on our first on-demand task of the year, um, and that might have been a little bit challenging for us, but why is it still important? Oh, come on. Oh, this whole table's got ideas. Why is it important that we're able to write informative text? Yesterday we talked about why it's important to be able to write a narrative. So we're switching up a bit. Constantly? Um, because like it is good to be able to write something. In the future you might need to write an informational text. You might have more on demands in the future. Okay. Uh, Anya? Yeah, so it's like you make it so it's like the first time to help us understand a little bit more about on-demand writing. What if we think about not just on-demand writing, but any kind of informational writing? What, we, what might we need that for? Are we always going to write stories? No. No, we've been working on narratives, but it's important to be able to write true stuff as well, to be able to write non-fiction. What were you going to say? Okay, so we can work on um, communicating our ideas. All right, Merlin, one more thing before we wrap up. We could write different types of um, stories, like not only stories, but more. We could write um, fiction, 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 and more. Okay, so yeah, this is language arts class where we focus on writing and all different types of writing, right? All right, here's what I need you to do. Um, you can take all the papers that have typing on them and put what you wrote today right on top of that. 